I'm sorry. What? What the fuck is this guy? What does he represent? The the other guy is like a ninja thing. This guy. This guy is just a a smiley coin. Why? Like, were they out of Mega Man enemy designs or something? Like, they, I I don't I'm not done for this. He's just so wrong. No, no thank bam bam thank you ma'am. You can take it back to the store, thank you. Uh he's just sitting there menacingly. Whoa! What does that mean? Oh, does he drop money or does he take money? I don't know what these days. Uh okay, I'm gonna try to save that guy because I always kill them. And I wanna actually do some stuff to get the rewards. Oh shit! Well, well, shit. Okay, at least the, the guy is dead. Uh, uh, uh. Jesus. Oh, hell. Ah! I can't believe that the block works the second time around. <laughs> All right. All right. No! Ooh. Oh, the music didn't kick in again. The music keeps dropping sometimes, and that's weird. All right, before it was so rudely interrupted by that ugly, disgusting coin, um, I have other things to talk about. I got the Wazaki. I can do whatever that means. Uh, I was treading through the sea, waiting to an island made of green. I... <laughs> so... Whoops. So Sonic is in Smash Bros. now. And uh, everyone's just complaining about how obvious a pick Sonic the Hedgehog was. Like, sure, Piranha Plant was fine for some reason. Um, Goomba Tower was fine for some reason. Shy Guy was fine for some reason. Yet another Fire Emblem character was fine for some reason. But Sonic? Like, ugh, what a boring pick. I could have predicted that. Um, no, this is commentary on the fact that Sonic is... I mean, shit, Sora is now in Smash Bros. I'm a month late talking about it. But I, A, predicted this. In my guest video, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 played through. And B, I also wanted Sora and Smash. I wanted Sora and Smash before all these other jerks. No, I mean, by other jerks, I mean like Min Min and Sephiroth and all these like, like uh, 2D fighting game characters. I mean, they're okay additions. I think they add, like, kind of a, a depth to the range of fighting game characters in this crossover fighting game, which is fine. God, this coin is a bitch. I say, finally saved a thing. Uh, I'll, I'll check back with them much later in the game after I saved a lot, because I don't want to keep going there after as soon as I get one. Uh, I can get this. I can go here, except I can't. I don't think I can do much here. Um, yeah, I just think it's stupid that there was so much, like... First of all, th this is pretty split down the middle. I mean, with Steve, it was kind of a meme. But, or with, uh... Who else? Sephiroth? Like, everybody was happy with Sephiroth. Um... But, like, who the fuck cares about Pyra and Mirthra? <laughs> or Steve? Or, um, Byleth? Like, or Piranha Plant? Everybody's saying that... Everybody... Uh, the people I was talking to were saying that Sora was a waste of a slot. And it should have been somebody else. Blah, 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 blah. Haters gonna hate. Um... I'm, first of all, I'm, sub I'm impressed that they even did it. 
because everybody knows that uh, how the way the rights turn out and like shareholders and shit. Okay, what's the problem here? How come only sometimes I can hit this thing? But like, yeah, just the way the rights work in trademarks and stuff. I'm surprised they even got him in. Okay, God. Also, it's cool. He's... I, I don't know. I, I just wanted him in, alright? Look. <laughs> I'm not- I'm a simple man of simple needs, okay? Uh, so what can I do here? Oh, I have to talk to everybody in order to advance the next cutscene. Um... Yeah, it's just- I think it's stupid that there's a double standard about how- who was, like... Who was a better pick for Smash Bros in a crossover game? Like, trying to get a really good range of franchises and series is um and but like i thought it was stupid everyone was glossing over the fact that the first dlc character was a basic mario enemy that's like that would have been like the first dlc character being goomba what like, you're telling me that's a better pick over an actual character like Sora? Like, the Piranha Plant has no character. He's just an enemy. That's it. Like, ugh. He would have been an assist trophy. How is it that freaking Deoxys is less of a character than freaking Piranha Plant? Or Byleth, if for that matter. Byleth is just an avatar character. Like... I don't know what they do in the game, but it's kind of like Robin or Corrin. It's just filling... Violet is just fitting, filling the quota for the Fire Emblem main character. And that's what I think. Like... Ike and Roy and Marth were at least characters. They weren't as, like, customizable as uh, Robin or Corrin. There's, like... There's, like, 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 like... I gotta stop saying like, bro. Um, they're so designed for the player to customize them and that said the, the player kind of plays as them throughout the entire game and that's just what they do and they don't really have much personality in my opinion more over like Sora or anybody else really and I still feel like if we're talking about representing like all the video games right and yet Fire Emblem is the most represented for some reason like come on dude don't even give me the that shit about Sora being boring okay uh who else Min Min at least represents like modern Nintendo in terms of arms. Like it was a Switch launch game and Smash Bros. Ultimate is a Switch game. So like that I can see that. Um Who else? Banjo kazooie also a great pick, representing like Rare and all everything Rare has done for Nintendo. Like Donkey Kong sixty four and like all the things they've done. I don't know who this fucking old bitch is. Doc, I'm very sorry. Yeah, at the moment, I don't really care. Yes, Arthur. I know. I know. Thank you, Arthur. Ahem, I should introduce everything, one. Uh, this is Dr. Grawl. She is good at all she does. She is the head of the Satella Police Department. She is an impressive old lady. It's very nice to meet you all. I will kick your ass now. And you too, Maggie. Who's Maggie? Oh. Oh, Megas this. Oh, you don't like that nickname? Well, how about Megas? OMG, Megas! You're preggers with Megas. Uh, okay, lady. I'm going to slice your face off and eat it like a burger. I'll go buck wild over this place if you keep this up. Give it a rest, Megas. Just give it a rest. And try it again with more soul. Because I not around. Oh, Asadina. That's not the full name, right? Asadina? 
whatever. That's like more syllables than acid. <laughs> Why? Omega's this is it can at least be shortened to Omega, but like that's extra. Your dear friend is in quite a bind, isn't she? Yeah, she's like probably dead or scattered across the cosmos. Uh, you're friends with Aaron as well, right? He's such a good boy, and he's going to be a splendid scientist someday. Uh, anyway, yeah, people are stupid. Sora would have been a great pick if it was like slot number three or four in the first wave, you know? But I'll, I can see them also saving it for last because uh, someone else pointed it together. Like, it's the 13th DLC character in the 13th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts and the 13th something or other. And it all just like made sense. Oh no, there's there's like seven something. There's thirteen DLC characters, and it's the seventh anniversary of something. And I don't fucking remember. It all it all just made sense why he would at least be the last one. Um, I still think other slots got robbed, in my opinion, like uh, Dante or another Sonic character. Or another, another like a character representing indie games would have been so good. I guess that's kind of Steve, maybe, but not so much anymore since it's owned by Microsoft. But whatever. But you know, like characters like Hollow Knight or uh, Shovel Knight, or you know, there's too many knights. Now that I think about it, too too many knights. Cuphead would have been awesome. Uh, a lot of characters getting, like, me costumes. Like, Travis Touchdown. Travis Touchdown would have been a great, like, he was a Wii launch game. Or not, not a launch game, but, like, he was a Wii exclusive title. I think that says something about Nintendo. Or being... I think that says something about Nintendo's history for the character why, well, character-wise. Like, definitely more than... Insert Fire Emblem character here. <laughs> or Pyramithra. Like, if they were going to represent Xenoblade again to promote... They're not even... They weren't even promoting anything. It was just like... Is Xenoblade 2... I know it was a great selling game, but... I don't even think she's the best part of that game. I would sooner, like, play as Rex. Then uh, those two characters aren't, aren't even... Like, characters? <laughs> I mean, they're characters, but... I already said my piece on them before. Looks like this is going to take a while. Why don't you go ask her on Kelvin a bit? Where's Kelvin? I gotta go ask her on about Kelvin. Uh, who do I talk to about, about my dad? About... But, like, yeah, it's not even Rex. Rex was already kind of deconfirmed when he was a me costume. But, like, I wouldn't have had... <coughs> I wouldn't have wanted Pyra and Mithra at all. And she also, she's broken, and I hate her. She sucks a fight. And I, I think... We're talking about... I don't want to fight you again. We're talking about, like, representing video games here. Like, Shulk is already there, bro. And you got the the Rex skin for the me costume. Like, come on. <sighs> There's nobody else he wanted to put here, like Chibi Robo <laughs> or or something else, man. Gosh, dang. Can I go to here now? And a lot of people wanted a... I finally found what I was supposed to do. <laughs> a lot of people wanted Master Chief or Doom Guy or somebody representing, like, the first-person genre. And, you know, what kind of... What they did for gaming. Well, look at this guy. And that's the best to piece of tape and tide. But I have to be good to... I deal with the records at the police backup. Um, okay. You say there's a nasty virus, but, um... I say it is probably a nice fellow inside of here. This is kind of windy as hell. Um, cause like yeah, fucking uh, Doom was like it wasn't the first like 
first person game, but it really set the standard for how they should be for first person games. And you know, it, it led to like things like GoldenEye and Halo and uh, what else? Quake and all that shit. And Unreal. I don't know if Unreal Tournament is that kind of thing. But uh, yeah. It, it's important to gaming much more than like the fifth Fire Emblem character, okay? And Sora also represents like the whole idea of a video game. That is a crossover effort between two completely different companies. Like Disney and Square Enix. Like, come on, that's big. Oh, I couldn't do anything. Uh, can I make it out of here alive? I wondered. Wait, that's thing's gonna hit me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I guess not. Okay. I can drop the big ball of gall. I didn't move. Fuck. Anyway. Or, yeah, Super, and Super Smash Bros. Is, is a big crossover game. So, of course, why, why not the crossover character be in the crossover game? That just makes sense. Like, come on. And you're over here forgetting that fucking piranha plant is here okay people were saying like oh Sora it could have been anybody else this time you're wrong if it was Steve or Pyra or maybe Min Min you could be right but you're also forgetting they actually already put anybody else in and that was piranha plant okay that'd be like them putting in Waddle D or Gordo as a character you play as like or blooper basic shit like come on don't even give me that crap or a meta <laughs> or the the metatons or the little hard hat things in Mega Man it'd be like if they put that in here <laughs> like come on you fucking assholes but you're wrong. So that's what I do. Now how does he I I would like second Sora after Snake. Because Snake is my main. Next to my rusty ass Rob. But I wanna play a different character <laughs> than Rob. I would do that, but I I just never touched floaty characters and he's designed that way on purpose, which Cause he always be in the air doing shit. I get it. Uh, I want to switch this out with the new one. Uh, I don't remember. No, I don't like that one. No. Is it there? Simply. Wait. I I didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, I would. I I want to main. I don't want. I want. I would want to second Sora. I want to play Sora, but I I I'm aware that I'll never be like that great with him. I just like that he's in the game. He's cool. I don't like most of his skins though. Uh, I know why they're not there. But there's it's a missed opportunity to. Whoa! Holy shit! To put in his like alternate costumes. From the Disney World, like you could have had Halloween Sora as a skin, Tron Sora as a skin. Um, what else did he have? Hollow uh, Christmas Town Sora as a skin. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Sora, but it's just like some of the drive forms, and it's like Kingdom Hearts one, two, and three, and the Kingdom Hearts. Three version of Final Form, which I actually don't like. It, uh, because he has that weird like tiger skin pattern and instead of like the super cool, like silver chain everywhere on his body, and I don't think it's as great as uh, the Kingdom Hearts Two Final Form. 
Or it could, it could have been like anti Sora as a skin. That would have been sick. Timeless River one is a good idea. And, you know, it's interesting that that's even a skin because it's kind of the same thing as like a franchise thing. Was that the virus? Did I do it? Oh, somebody called me. Okay. I was just like doing a mission, but I guess I wasn't. Uh. uh that wasn't really asking around for my dad. That was just kind of fucking around. But, um... Yeah, I... His skins could have been better. The time was everyone's skin one. I wouldn't pick it. I like the Kingdom Hearts 3 skin. It's the best. Uh, his magic attacks... Are... Kind of good. <laughs> the fire one is whatever. It's good at tripping people up when they're recovering. Um, if they have to do it above the ledge... And the Thunder one kills surprisingly well if it chains all three together. Maybe I've seen it. I had it happen even on the last like Thunderbolt. <laughs> just they they hit the tail end of the the hitbox and they just go flying off and they die at like ninety. Like okay, and there it's always abrupt too. It's it, you never really get the uh, the what's it called the the kill camera the KO camera. And they just kind of evaporate. Uh, Blizzard is great. Uh, you could do stuff out of someone coming out of being frozen. Kind of like uh, PK Freeze. But I mean, P when, Ness when Lucas uses PK Freeze, they kind of just die. <laughs> they just fly off into oblivion. Or uh, who else is Ice? Not quite Ice Climber level. I think it just like a better... Ice Climber Side B. Uh, it's fantastic. Geo, everyone. Wah, 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 prez. Wait. Oh, he's talking about how to get her back using collecting pieces of her heart. Kind of like Kyrie in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, speaking of, um, yeah, his magic toolkit is cool. That's like his gimmick. And you cycle between it, and it's fine. Uh, all of his... Uh, Smash attacks and aerials are based on like moves and from the games. It's kind of cool. Uh, he has really good juggle potential. I can't do it, but I've seen people do like nair loops where they just they do they do one two one two one two instead of like the one two three aerial. And you can also drop out of it. And if you're reading someone's like aerial movements, uh, you can do one two and then stop and do like. Up, up air or magic or something or if they're on the ground you, they can you could do one two they'll drop and then you can do down till into something else it's like okay that's cool but the main like bread and butter i feel is is down till up till up air and then it doesn't matter after that you've already done like freaking 35 damage uh a miracle is already happening your porpoise Luna is still connected to everyone through the strong bond you all share. Wow, it's just like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that bond is your purpose. If it wasn't for our bond, she would actually be dead. Is that what you're saying here? Uh, the reason Press's data and our shared purpose hasn't disappeared is that she's still alive, and that's because our bond... Uh, you're losing me. She was evaporated, okay? She got split into smithereens. It so when she quote unquote died, she was like converted into data and destroyed. But the pieces of her spread across the brother band is keeping her tied to reality. I don't fucking know. It is legitimately Kingdom Hearts logic. <laughs> Our bond with Prez, I'm going to cry again. And then the theme song comes on, and you don't even, there's nothing even really happening. Uh, we didn't even do anything, we just kind of learned something kind of important that is only unique to Luna. Like, this isn't true for anybody else in this game. Just for Luna, because she's gone. Everyone can cheer up and get gloomy mood out of here. Alright, Geo, let's go find all the prez, the pieces of the prez. Prez crumbs. That's kind of gruesome. Either is fine. Let's just do it already. Wait. 
What is it? Uh, Asadina, won't you please go with them? Uh, gasp. Huh? What? Oh, that's right! They let you switch between them for some reason. And it's weird, I don't like it. Even when you wanted to help out these children, I mean, uh, blah 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 blah. It's kind of cool, now that I think about it. You can, I think you can switch the bottom character to, uh, like, the, the you can switch Omega with other characters, and that's nice. Uh, and I want to, I want to help the kids out. Get out of here. You have my gratitude. I will keep communications. Come for return, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ah, there he is. He took over my screen. And he he does things. When you arrive in Alohaha, please touch a pop-up to contact me. I will be able to search for the data. And it's... Oh, God. Is it just Alohaha or, like, everywhere? Okay, so her pieces were scattered across just that area. Uh, I can't see that, nor do I know if I'm supposed to. Oh, it's like the the puzzle box where you put her pieces. Touch the pop up icon. To see what we do collected. Okay. So we have to go rescue the seven pieces of Luna Platts. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna skip this cutscene because <laughs> I'm sick of this. Man, man. Oh, man, it's a stop sign. Uh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Why, sis, why? Uh, what are we doing? You know, I... I... I am recording this the same day as, like, the other two videos, but, um... I... Was coming... I came out of work this morning, and this homeless guy with, a, like, a banjo or a violin or something passed by me. And he was like, you know where there's a, there's a music store on here? I was like, I was thinking like, well, there actually isn't one in Mission Valley. And uh, I said no. And then he was like, okay, do you know where there's a pine tree? And I was like, a pine tree? I actually don't know where there's a pine tree. And then he's like, oh, wait, there is one. I found it. <laughs> and he pointed behind me and dead ass, there was a random ass pine tree on the side of the target building. It's like, oh, I thought he was being stupid and weird. I mean, he still was, but there really was a random ass pine tree surrounded by all these other kinds of like trees. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. But, but why? Why did he want the pine tree? It's time, I'm heading out. Question mark, I mean, exclamation point. Wait up, sis. It's too much to ask you to try and crush Waz on, on your own. I have the new weapon that Mr. King just finished. It's called Burger King. Okay, let's see if he wants one too. Look, I got places to go, people to see, and you're all bothering me. 